and filled Salters and Sanders to the brim this afternoon in anticipation of a busy day tomorrow. And we will be ready with our maximum effort starting at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is roughly 1,500 sanitation trucks that turn into snow plows and then a whole group of other trucks that can be used for plowing and spreading and salting and sanding. So it'll be about 2,000 pieces of equipment. According to meteorologists from the National Weather Service, the city is going to need every last piece. This storm has the potential, if these two systems aloft actually uh, phase in and merge as is being predicted, uh, to produce a storm that will be a one in 50 year event along the East Coast. Along the New Jersey shore, the concern is not just the snow, but the damage that could be caused to area beaches. There will be severe coastal erosion and prolonged coastal flooding um, if this stall actually occurs. But along Rockaway Beach today, the Atlantic was so calm it looked like a mirror. While the forecast calls for a blizzard, it felt like an early spring Saturday. Bladers, joggers, and walkers were out in force, enjoying today's weather and not worrying about tomorrow. I could care less. <laughs> not going to cancel work. I got to go Monday morning. It don't matter to me. But disaster officials at the Red Cross say you should remember that one. It killed 14 people, destroyed hundreds of homes, and caused millions and millions of dollars in property damage. This is a very serious situation, and when the storm does hit CBS2, we'll be here for you. We will have complete team coverage live around the area, plus up to the minute forecast. And of course, you can get the very latest information 24 hours a day by logging onto our website at CBSNewYork.com. We have a lot more news for you tonight, including an update on the Westchester bus.